What's up, dudes? My name is Joe Jenkins from Guitars and Comics. I like to play guitar and read comic books. Uh, hopefully, I put in a little bit of guitar playing at the beginning there. Uh, I'm going to try not to play and talk at the same time because you guys can't really see the guitar. So, don't mind my stupid dog. He's just hearing my voice. So, um, yeah, so today what I'm going to do, uh, besides the little bit of guitar playing that I'm going to show you guys, um, is just going to run through some of the comics I got over the last couple weeks. Uh, since I last did my video, I'm not sure exactly what I'm at, but I know I'm up above 70 subscribers, which is totally awesome. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Um, to everybody that's new, uh, hopefully you did it, but if not, go check out some of my older videos. Uh, not the really old ones, because those are just strictly guitar, but um, some of the ones uh, recently that I did with uh, more than comic books mixed with guitar. Um, but yeah, so today I'm just going to run through some of my comics. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, I was debating doing some little setup where I voice over with videos of comics, but that's kind of boring, and I don't know. I talk with my hands, so it is what it is. Uh, first little shout out here um, to Comichead84. Just finished watching his little Queen cover there. If you guys haven't checked that out, I'll put a link in the description. Make sure you go over there and check it out. Playing some awesome uh, piano to some Queen covers. Really, really cool stuff. Uh, really encouraging you know, uh, comic book lovers to kind of show our other uh, geek sides of us, which I obviously, being guitars and comics, I fully support the musicians out there, so, um, and if you guys ever want to jam, you know, Skype hook up, whatever, uh, get a hold of me. Okay, um, next shout out here goes to my buddy Zach Crook, um, you guys probably don't know him, but he's a local guy from my neck of the woods, he, he owns the guitar shop that I used to teach guitar lessons at. Um, and he, not too long ago, gave me this. It's a little short story. I'm pretty sure it's called Biblio Oblio. Sorry, Zach. Um, not sure on the pronunciation there, but really, really awesome book. Um, kind of a short story, I guess, if you want to call it that. But um, some really, really cool ideas in here. And uh, I'm always down for supporting, you know, art in any form. So... I'll put a link in the description for his Facebook page. Uh, he plays guitar too, obviously. Um, he does wood burning stuff. He's a good artist. Uh, yeah, really, really cool dude. Really good artist. Make sure you guys go check him out. Like his Facebook page. Uh, he has a YouTube page too. I'll put that in the description as well. Mostly guitar stuff. But um, yeah, Zach, awesome job, man. Okay, next up. Now, if you guys watch my want list um, that I just... Put out about a week or two ago. Um, this will look familiar. Ta -da! Tales of Suspense number 94. I got it. Um, not in great shape, honestly, but I got it for a steal. A steal, a steal. $18. Probably won't believe me, but I got it for $18. Bucks. Um, a little bit of, you know, stuff coming off in the corner there. A bunch of little damage along, you know, this. Who cares? I don't care. It's going to, you know, it's. I, I might get it slabbed. I might not. I don't care. It's just going to be one of those books that I hold on forever. Uh, in case you didn't watch my other video, which I'll put a link on the description for you guys to check that out too. But, um, little dude in the corner here. His name's Modoc. One of my favorite characters ever. Uh, just a crazy little dude with a gigantic head. But, um,. I guess it says Modoc right on the front there. But yeah, awesome, awesome comic. Cannot wait um, to flip through this thing. I'm kind of nervous to open it up, but I'm going to do it anyway because fuck it. Okay, next up. Um, I don't know where this came from. I, For whatever reason, I remember seeing this cover. Uh, Hulk 377. I remember hearing a little bit of something about Professor Hulk maybe... Being in the next Avengers movie, I don't know. I'm, I'm not very good at keeping up on that sort of thing. But got it for a good price, so figured why not. Actually in really, really good shape too. Not hardly any damage to this at all. Yeah, literally. Oh, no, there's a few spine ticks, but beggars can't be choosers. I don't care. <laughs>
Um, next up, uh, if you've seen my um, Instagram page, which I will also link. Man, lots of links. I'm going to have to remember to put all these down there. But um, Daredevil, King Size Special, uh, number one. I bought this on eBay in the middle of the night. I'm not sure what happened, but I totally don't remember buying it. Just showed up in my house, and I was like, oh, cool. I don't even remember doing anything with it. Uh, not in great shape, but cool enough. I think they're like going for about 15, 20 bucks. So I'm not, I have no clue what I even paid for it. So, okay. Uh, next up, I actually have another copy of this, but this one's in better shape. So I figured why not? Sub Mariner 27, Namor. Love Namor. So, Definitely picking that up. Got it for a good price. Uh, speaking of good prices, I picked this thing up for two bucks. I don't even know. I mean, it might only be worth two dollars. I'm not sure. I'm not very good at keeping track of prices of stuff. But uh, Omega, the unknown number one. I see these going on eBay. It seems like for more than two bucks. So it was one of those situations where I uh, sorted by ending soonest. And anybody that ever comic book hunts, uh, sometimes you get some good deals that way. Zero bids, so threw a bid in of a dollar, got it for a dollar plus a dollar shipping. Total steal. Uh, next up, my son actually picked this up, so I just threw it in here. He's not he's not here right now, otherwise I'd have him show it to you. But uh, one of those Walmart Justice League books. Nothing special about it, but a little cool book. It's actually got a couple pretty awesome stories in it too, but... And then this one I did buy, which uh, the hype is very real, and I don't know why I overpaid the shit out of this fucking book. Uh, just because Lois gets killed in it, everybody lost their fucking mind, but Superman, Walmart book, whatever. Kind of pissed that I bought it, honestly, but it's here. Um, next up, we got a couple uh, Secret Invasion, the new Avenger, Avengers, 40 and 41. Just got these because they got some cool covers. I uh, actually haven't even opened them, but it says Bendis on the front, so why not? Man, I suck at this. I don't know shit about any of these books, but whatever. All right. I'm going to pull off a couple here. All right. So this one is uh, Avengers 306. Nothing special about this at all. Uh, found it in a 50 cent bin, so why not? And I said why not too many times, I think. Avengers 346. There is something about this. I think it's Strike Force. I don't know. Um, something to do with the Captain Marvel movie. Anyway, I actually didn't pay too much money for it. But it's the first appearance of uh, Captain Marvel's crew in the new Captain Marvel movie. So figured I might as well hold on to it, see if the price goes up eventually. And if not, at least I got a cool Avengers comic um and once again shouting back to my old um want list video uh werewolf by night with uh moon knight first appearance of moon knight was on that list uh still too pricey for me speaking of what the hell happened to that avenging spider-man holy shit I th i'm pretty sure uh my low price on that was 30 dollars. i can't find a copy of that bitch for less than 100 bucks I don't know what happened. Uh, maybe the site uh, that I got the the pricing from was fucked up that day, but I cannot find a cheap <laughs> uh, version of that book. Um, yeah, Werewolf by Night number six. Not the Moon Knight, but I just seen Werewolf by Night and figured can't hurt to just throw it on the pile. And I don't know. Anytime I see like you know fifteen cent, twenty cent Marvel books, I usually try to grab them because sometimes old is cool. Speaking of old, Conan the Barbarian, number four. I do not get the Conan hype one bit. Um, I really want to check out the new Conan run, though. But, yeah, I don't know. This, this was super cheap at my local weed shop, so just picked it up. I was going to say, because why not again, but I'm going to fight that urge. <laughs>
boring as shit, I'm sure, but if you're still sticking around, you're awesome. Um, okay, these next three here, my son, we actually, uh, when we picked up the that other Walmart Justice League book, they do these little three packs that I'm sure most of you see, um, Marvel three packs, and my son, I don't know if it was a good score or not, it seemed like it to me, um, first of all, got this Amazing Spider-Man 13, it's like one of those, I can't even remember the word, but it's the crazy one where it changes images as you turn it, um, I think these were kind of a flop, I think a couple, they tried doing this in a few runs, and Nobody really liked it, but it looks cool enough. It switches from the black suit to Spiderling. You probably can't. I, there's no way I'm going to get it to do it on camera, but, yep, pretty cool. Um, and then also in the three-pack was the Venom Annual Number 1. Nothing too special about it, but Venom, and it's got a cool, cool-looking cover. The art is honestly not super great, but figured why not. Donny Cates, so, let me see. Yeah, pretty cool looking cover. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm sure there's lots of glare going on, but hopefully you can see that. Um, and then finally in his little three pack there, you got uh, Avengers number 10 from the newer run. But yep, yeah, still nothing special about it. But for a little three pack that cost maybe, I think it was seven bucks or something, got a couple cool comics in there. So thought I'd show you guys those. Um, sorry, this is going longer than I'd hoped. Uh, next up is Batman Who Laughs number one. I'm jumping on the, the hype train here. Uh, I was going to get some of the other uh, variant covers, but this one was super cheap. So I figured I'd start at the beginning, see if I like the story, and then keep going from there. But unfortunately, every time you go on eBay, the prices are ridiculous for these things, and I'm not even sure why. Uh, tons of variant covers and stuff, it seems like. But Batman Who Laughs number one. And then... Next up, I got a couple of these Young Justice. Um, first off is just the standard cover. And I like the story so much that I figured I'd get the sketch variant. Um, tried to get that, um, what they call the meme variant. I'm not even sure if that's what they call it. But you know what I'm talking about if you're watching this. Um, yeah, so love this story though. Can't wait to check out the Young Justice 2 that's coming out next week. And then finally here... You guys know that I love to suck Punisher's dick. So, got a few Punishers here. Uh, Quasar, Quasar. I have no idea how you pronounce it. Sorry. Um, featuring the Punisher. Yep, quarter bend book, but it's got the Punisher on it, so I'm going to grab it. Same with these two. Well, these three, technically. Uh, Punisher War, Jour War Journal, 34 and 48. Uh, these are all in pretty rough shape, but honestly, most of my Punisher comics are in rough shape because I just, I read them all the time, but, um, some pretty horrific art in this one. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but it honestly looks like my son drew it, but I'm a slut for Punisher, so why not? Well, that was kind of a pun. I didn't even mean it to be. Um, yeah, this one, the, the art isn't anything to write home about either. You can kind of tell by looking at the cover that the art isn't going to be super great, but I think this was maybe the dark days of Marvel as far as it came to their artist. And if you ask some people, they're still in the dark days. Um, and then finally, Punisher War Journal number 50. It's got a... Where is it? A little preview of the Punisher 2099 stuff. and This one's actually got a little bit better art in it for some reason. But, yep, as always, I just love Punisher, so I figured why not. All right, guys, well, hopefully you're still sticking around. Um, I'm going to try to chop in a little bit of guitar playing here and there. If not, I'm, I'll throw it on the end here. But um, I really appreciate you guys if you're still watching. Uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe. Um, check out those guys I shouted out earlier, Zach Crook, his link in the description. Uh, Comic Head 84. I'll put his uh, video down there for his Queen covers. Uh, I think that's it. All right. Later, dudes. Rock on.